Um, we're going to continue our work with quick little snippets in the beginning of something that I have found in my readings or something that I found profound because I know you guys are connecting with this. I'm getting good feedback um, from this. So um, today is interesting. This is from Meditations and Mantras. Um, if anyone's ever interested in the books that I'm talking about, just send me a note and I can send you a picture of them. Mm. And we've talked about samaskaras before. You probably remember samaskaras. So, um, so basically samaskaras are grooves in the mind that have occurred because of repetition of something that we're doing. Okay. So for some people, this could be like smoking. For some people, it could be eating really well. Um, whatever you find that is like this reoccurring habit that is happening, good or bad, um, these are samaskaras, right? And so it's like when we go to change a pattern, it is so hard because there's grooves in the mind, right? And when we don't continue on this pattern, the brain is like, what's going on? Like, this is what I'm used to. And so it gets really uncomfortable. This goes back to the Joe Dispenza work. Um, so samaskaras can either be good or bad. Right, but these samaskaras that are no longer serving us, when we go to change them, we get a lot of resistance. Okay, um, and it's not just an easy like I'm going to will my my way through it. And we know a lot of the times we fail when we try to do this. And this is where our meditation practice comes in, and it's really important because what happens with the meditation practice is it it starts to weaken those connections in these samaskaras. Um, and it allows us to start to like unwind them, like tissues in the body, like we talk about. And we slowly weaken these connections and then it frees up energy and power so that we can make new patterns that actually start to serve us. Okay, so this is, this is repetitive for some of us, but I think it's always really important to go back to. Um, so I wanted to just read a part when he's talking about samaskaras here. So he's saying, samaskaras are not necessarily negative. There can be grooves in the mind which are uplifting and those which bring one down. It is the express purpose of meditation to create new, positive channels in the mind and to eradicate those which are destructive. It is an absolutely scientific process, but at the same time, the goal is spiritual. It's not su sufficient to eliminate the negative. There must be a striving to develop love, compassion, a sense of service, cheerfulness, kindness, and the many other qualities which not only make one's life happy, but which help to radiate and lift up others. Okay, 